All right, so this lesson is for those of you that they got the continents uh, dot to dots in your work packets for this week. Um, I'm going to show you kind of how to keep track of them so that they don't end up everywhere and how to put them in your binder. Um, if you end up needing three hole punch or needing three things through hole punch before they come to you, please let us know. We can do that each week. So first of all, you have your map that we kind of looked at a bit yesterday for some of you. And you have a map the world. Mine has some extra lines on it because I needed it for an equator and prime meridian lesson. And you have your dot to dot. In this case, I am holding up Africa. So, clipboard. What you guys are going to do is you're going to do each dot to dot. If you've not done one before, I can show you really fast what you're doing with them. So, for a dot to dot, you're going to take a Pencil or a pen. I'm going to use a pen in this case because it's going to be easier for you to see. You're going to take it and you're going to find where the number one is. So for Africa, my number one is down here. And then I'm going to go from one, and if I'm counting, I go one, two, to three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Now this is where I have to be careful because 28 is in here and if I was just drawing like it was a line, I wouldn't have noticed that and I would just go straight through. So 27, 28, 29, 30. 31, 32, 33, and then I'm going to connect my last two spots here, my last number and my number one. So I have done the continent of Africa, which is pretty cool. And I want my colored pencil. Got the colored pencil. So what you're going to do then is you're going to look at your map that's right here and see which one matches that shape and also the word that's on your other map. I can see that Africa is this one right here. And then I can look on my map here and see that Africa is right here on that one because it's the same shape. And then I can take my colored pencil and I can color in Africa. I'm doing it very nicely. I'm not going like super crazy with my colored pencil. And I'm doing small back and forth motions. I can do a little bit bigger where I need to to cover some space. Do, 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 do. Until all of Africa is colored in. And it does continue up here with the land, but that's going to get into the Middle East, which we count as part of Asia, not as part of Africa. And you'll do this for each continent. If you want to make them all the same color, you can. If you want to do them all green and then have the oceans be uh, blue, that would be fine. And then I'm going to write on it, maybe. I'm going to label it as Africa. So that that's good to go. And then once I have those two, I don't want to lose these ones. I've done them. So that would be really sad to put all that work in and then it gets lost. But if it does happen, that's okay. I'll give you another one. What you're going to do is you're going to take your binder. And you're going to flip to your geography section, which should be your third section and hopefully in your third section you have a lot of paper if not maybe stick some more in there you're going to flip all of that paper to the side so that you're right at the start of your language area and then you're going to open up your binder move it so you guys can see again you're going to open up your binder and you're going to put these in there so that they stay safe and down. So you're going to put your map in first, your big control map. Then you're going to put in your map where you've been coloring and labeling things. And then as you do them, you'll do each dot to dot. Now, if you end up doing the dot to dots and not labeling them on your continent thing, that's okay. Um, you can still stick them in your binder so that they stay nice and safe and sound. Close it and then close up your binder. And that's how you guys are going to do that one. Have fun.